Yeah, so we're doing the open house out here at, uh, at STR 38 Motorsports. Um, and as you can see, um, they, they do race cars out here. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Uh, they'll get loaded up, everybody will come in, It'll be a nice big open house with probably just a ton of BMWs. Their, their whole uh, inner space here is nothing but race prep BMWs and just a couple street ones, but everything, everything here is race prepped. And you know, you know how I feel about that. I absolutely love, uh, love true purpose-built race cars. So I'm gonna run through, I'm gonna show you guys what's here. I hope you all enjoy Let me know what you think and I'm gonna get at it, thanks. Okay, so a little view inside the factory prep race car. Um, this is a M4 GT4, um, fully race prepped, race prepped from from the factory for the series. Um, it's beyond beyond ridiculous. I mean, as you'd expect for a real race car, it's all stripped out. Everything has a place, has a purpose. Um, you can see the air jacks over there. If it'll it'll focus in on them. See how they have the, the pedal relocation here. Um, the full Recaro halo with Sarath harnesses. Um, I mean, it's super, super incredible. Uh, the door itself, which if you guys ever handle like a, a normal OEM door, you'll know how heavy it is. This one, if I had to guess, is maybe maybe three pounds total maybe um but yeah so this is a this is a, a fully prepped car um i mean it's it for me it's really cool to see manufacturers when they make a purpose-built car that they can actually make one that's just not a street car you know what i mean so you have the, the rear brake ducts that go back through here. Um, everything in the back, again, has a purpose or a place. So you'll see like, like even where the fuses go, that has now been tilted up. It has a specific spot, it's easy to get to. Um, everything from the quick releases to the, the air jack setup. I mean, this, I, I know it's not practical, but it, like, this is the way all street cars should be. Like, no, no, I think the street cars should be. That looks like. Yeah. That looks street. That yeah. Looks this, this though. Oh. Uh, so this is, does this make you a BMW guy? Is this? I don't know, bro. No? I don't think so. No? It, I mean, it's really nicely executed. I would. I, I don't know how they're able to execute it with like when these cars have so many electronics and like so much plastic from the factory. Oh, the, oh, I see. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's really cool from the, <laughs> the I know, right? Ding, ding. So, but yeah, that's. I didn't know that. It's really from the factory. Just yeah. Like a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Does that classify that it's a street car? It's from factory. <laughs> no. That one is. That one is a hundred percent race car. Um, 
These are these are cool. I like, like this wrap design. Like it looks almost like someone went with the livery, with yeah. the livery, and just kind of through paint or like it splashed through paint as it was like yeah. driving 100 like, miles an like hour. Just like a bucket, like yeah, and it just drive through really quick. Yeah. No, it's cool. I like I like the livery. Um, I, just, I don't know why I like the super black and the silver silver foil sticker. Well, it's it still it's still yeah. very. I mean, technically, it's not like streetcar, yeah. but it's it's more tame yeah. than the full on race so cars. Loud. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not it, you know you could you could potentially see this on the street or potentially have something built like this that's still a streetcar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like yeah so exactly. Um, but no, this one. It's so nice has has all functional arrow i mean it, it's a race car you know it's all functional but it looks it looks almost street yeah right that's not oe right right there's nothing yeah there's nothing there's nothing in the race car that's like like and then the subframe and like it's all like tubular yeah i was like yeah, it's not. It's funny when I was outside. There's a CNC machine shop right here. Right next door. You're like, lucky. you're like, oh, they just do it next door. Yeah. I don't know, but that's. I like the carbon Recaro. Yeah. The carbon I Recaro is cool. I mean, it gives you. It gives you the pads like right, right in the sensitive areas where you need them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's pretty cool. We'll see if uh, we we'll see if the music. I'm gonna have to. I don't, know I, I, I don't know, like, I'm gonna have to see if the music pops up on me or not. Nothing secret, right? Nothing secret. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, uh, so what did you think of that place? Um, that was that was incredible. Um, not what I expected. Um, I I really just I know it was an open house and and you know it was for them and they they do race cars and everything else. But I just I didn't expect to see uh, you know basically an entire you know set of you know factory race cars in there. Um, to see one is is impressive, but I think there was four or five plus Art of Attack had their car there. I mean, like there were some incredible cars there. Um, and she was super cool. Uh, we had a little conversation about her specific race car and, you know, steering wheel controls, all the extra stuff, all the, all the stuff that you don't realize goes into racing a car. It's not just about driving the car. Um, she was talking about how the engineers will let her know to adjust 
to different ABS features, different traction control, different, I mean, it, she has control of everything on the steering wheel. Just like, a, just like an F1 car, it's the same thing. So she has brake bias, the ABS, she has everything from uh, pit speed controls to, to whatever. And each little button did something different. And like she, like she was telling us, like the engineers will tell her to switch to a different map because they need to save fuel, switch to a different map because it's more aggressive. And literally she does it on the fly while she's racing. Um, while she's in the middle of a, like a 24 hour, you know, race at spa or she's at Monza or some other just hugely iconic location um and as you can tell i i'm i i'm excited about that that's that's what i'm into i'm into the racing and the track cars so it was really cool to not only see the cars but talk to her talk to the driver everything else um and really get more in depth about them so i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys let me know what you think drop those comments below and uh I'll see you guys at the next one. All right, thanks.